I'd just like to state my partner and I's main uh, claim once again is that we think the current policies for animal testing are in no need of change. Um, first off, I'd like to say that there is no law anywhere that states animal testing must be used. It is safer and it's safer to use an animal rather than cause bodily harm to a human. Um, testing a new product on a human could cause rash, irritation, inflammation, pain, bleeding, allergies, or other serious side effects. Uh, we believe that protecting human health and safety is indeed a benefit. We shouldn't. Um, it'd be immoral to risk the lives of human beings um, on a on a when a sorry on a procedure when instead could be tested on a non-human animal. Um, um, testing. My second uh, claim is testing on hum testing on animals is economically sound. You don't first off have to pay an hourly rate to to animals. There's nothing there. Um, and less legal is involved. If something went wrong with a human, they would either be sued or you could cause a death. Um, also, we said that minor repairs could be made to current policies to aid the welfare of animals in testing. Um, you could, it would be um, most animal procedures involved only mild procedures in which seamless Sorry, I'm losing my thoughts. Um, okay, sorry. Um, new forms of animal testing could be created and become effective by using the smallest number of animals as possible. Rather than using hundreds of animals at times to test one product, they could come up with new forms that say that you would say only use 10. Um, Megan brought up a point that animals are being held in cages and are trying to break free and end up breaking their necks. Well, there could be um, new tests could be created to make animals more comfortable um, as they are being tested. Their living conditions can also be improved, which right now uh, you can't. The animals have to be clean, well, like my partner stated, your animals have to be clean, well fed, and um, in, in neat and comfortable conditions. Um, right now, it is possible to experiment on animals without being cruel. Not all um, cosmetic industries use the eye and the thing. Some you're just putting lotion on skin to see what irritations it could cause, to see how you could affect how it affects skin and how it affects um, if it would cause an allergy. And I wanted to go back to the point of um, it's safer to test on animals rather than humans. Right now, humans share about 99% of their genes with chimpanzees. As a result, um, the reaction of these creatures are a very good guide to help possi um, to poss very good guide to of possible reactions in humans. <coughs> so, right now, why would you cause pain and bodily harm to a human, and or rather than just use them? Thank you. <clears throat>